So here's today's problem. Where's it at? There it is. Soft spot in the floor. So we're going to crawl under there, see what's going on, and try to fix it. It's always something. Okay, under the house. See what I see? See how all that's cracked out? When someone steps on it, you'll see all this flex. That's our soft spot. So I'm thinking, because this piece of plywood and this one is different. So I'm assuming that's where they had their their wine and they just didn't center it on the board. Maybe it was a little, little off to the edge. So over the years, it's got weak, it started cracking and, and, and it's come off the floor joist. So my goal is to put me a, to scab me a two before just, just under it to support that. Then also you can see where it's been flexing here along the seam and back along that other seam. So I'm going to come across with a, some two fours on it too. So I'm going to go this way, this direction, and then this way to cover, to cover this gap and try to keep that from flexing. When they built these floors back in the day, you know, they didn't have tongue and grooves like 40 years old. I think they had like a half inch, half inch layer of plywood and then maybe another half inch layer on top of that. I believe that's the kind of way they did it. Or maybe it's five inch particle board. Depends on if it was in the kitchen or if it was in the hallway or, or living room area. So I'm going to get to doing some cutting on some 2 and try to get a plan. Okay, so here's my simple plan. You see, I've already pre-drilled pre -drilled me some holes. And my goal is to run this screw up at an angle. Because you can see how the plywood is kind of flexed down. And I want to push it back up. So, so instead of running the screws from my tube before it, there we go. And instead of just shooting the screws straight through the side, you know, sometimes if you happen to get a gap, you still got these flutes digging into the tube before. So I pre-drilled the hole, so so that way when it goes through, it's going to push up. It's actually going to raise us up and wedge it tight, and it's going to cinch it right against that floor joist, good and snug. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do next. Lift that up there. I'm going to need both hands for that, and see how that goes. But I've pre-drilled about six holes all the way down through there, and they're all going to be going up at an angle. Let me get you an idea of what we're doing here. I think this is going to do pretty good. Get in here. Good and tight. Just kind of wedge it up good. Take that bounce out of that floor. So once again, so I got my little cross piece here. I had that little seam between the two layers of plywood. So I took my drill and I pre-drilled me a hole. Kind of going up like an angle like this. So then I'm taking my screw, when it goes through, it's not going to be biting into this. It's just going to pass right through this 2x4 and dig into this 2x8, I guess is where it is. And really, really pull it tight and push it up toward the subfloor. So we, we get everything good and tight and get, get, rid, get rid of that weak spot. Let's see if we can record this, see if it, if it moves in here or not. Seen it there? See how it pushed up against the floor. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And uh, of course, another good thing about that pre-drilling is you're not going to split out your wood either. So if we can't uh, tighten this one up, get her good and snug. Right. Yeah, closed up that gap, good and tight. All right, and I'll put me a couple more in sideways just for good measure. But I think that's that is really, really sturdy. Well, as you can see there, that's the final result. It didn't take too long. Got the soft spot removed. I, I had the uh, tenant walk on top of it while I was under here, just to make sure everything was good. We've got that little project fixed. So just in case you got a soft spot in your floor, just crawl on there, take a look at it, and do a little scabbing and put some screws to it and take care of the problem. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.